and three, two, one, boom. And we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. This is a Socratic Dialogue. You might notice we're playing Sonic, bringing it back old school. Uh, was this the first Sonic? Was uh, it the I Sega Sonic? I don't know, man. Uh, don't ask me questions I don't know about. <laughs> well, well, you don't with it. So I'm like, it was a free game. I just, oh, okay. uh, um, I don't even know what it's called. I forgot. Okay. Sonic Mania? I don't know. Something like that. Well, that's cool. Because I I had Sonic, like, my very first video game was actually Sonic. Really? Yeah. On a Sega? Yeah, on a Sega. Yeah, Yeah, I know. I know a few people that had Sega. I mean, very little people (laughs) had Sega. Very little. Yeah. So this looks just like the game that I played. So I'm like, oh, is this this the same game? Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's cool. Um, But yes. So we are actually doing a technology podcast. This is going to be Vish heavy because he is actually my go-to when uh, I find out about technological things, and okay. uh, yeah. do you do you want to preface this, Vish? Like what? Well, it's gonna... about Apple's keynote that they had on the Monday. Boom! We're a little late to the game, but that's that's all good. Yes. Yeah. So um, yeah, Vish checked out the keynote. He has some interesting takeaways that he'd like to share with me, oh. and I thought oh, yeah. we should just share it with all of you. Sure. <laughs> so uh, go for it, Vish. What can we expect from technology in 2020? Well, so that E3, oh, not E3, sorry, that's that's this weekend. Um, yep. At WWDC, they had, it was like a two and a half hour long presentation. Okay, so it was like a movie. Yeah, it was like a movie, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they had a lot of things to get through. And then, uh, yeah, basically a lot of bunch of things to get through. Okay. Stuff for the watch, stuff for the phone, stuff for the iPad. So I uh, just like to also preface this. This is um, an Apple event. WWE. This is an exactly. Yeah. So well, in case you're like, oh, this is like a technology event. No, no, it's just strictly Apple. And yes, Apple event for developers. Yeah. In a sense. Worldwide developer conference. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, so first we'll start off with. I skipped over the watch thing because I don't have a watch, so okay, it's true. not that really important to me. Uh, <laughs> and. So we'll start off with what everyone has, an iPhone. Okay, cool. Which is the next operating well, actually, let, system. Let, let me just Oops. throw this out there. I I used to advocate for the iWatch because I was like, Apple, no, Apple Watch. I was like, oh, it's like super sick. It was very useful, but the fact that mine broke down and there was no way to fix it without like paying money, I was like, oh, no. It's like not worth it anymore. Whereas like other watches like the the Boliva, 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 whatever. <laughs> I don't even know the brand name, but <laughs> the, the watch that I bought, uh, it's like an automatic one that'll like last essentially forever. So if you're going digital, be warned that you might have to just buy it. Yeah, that goes one. with everything, though. Of course, of course. In like, the digital world. In the digital, in the digital world. world. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's with any phone and everything. Like yeah, that. totally. Yeah, right. yeah, planned obsolescence. Yeah, uh, yeah you so, got to know to upgrade. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So just just realize that. So, it works right, with good. any technology. Anyway, anyway, so uh, iOS 13 was the... I don't know what iOS 12 we all have now. I don't know if you've updated it. No, I haven't. I think I have. Uh, suppose so. We'll, yeah, keep going. Uh, we'll start off with. Uh, I was watching Marcus Brownlee, and he had a pretty good segment on it. And I'm just basically following his. Okay. Of what was mainly talked about, and what are the important things to really know about iOS 13. Okay, cool. Which so. is speed. Okay, that's always important. So, yeah. like, the way they're doing that is. I'm uh, increasing, of course, as we, like, before it was like, you know, the touch ID increases speed, mm-hmm, right, mm-hmm. of unlocking. So there, this is mainly all face ID now, right? Yeah. Face ID increases, and now it's smaller app sizes. Small, smaller app sizes? like. Yeah, or smaller app downloads. The size of the apps are... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's really good. No, that's super beneficial. Well, yeah, yeah. And there are some really big file sizes that are when you do updates, you got to do the update for the whole app, right? Yeah. So now... The updates are also sixty percent smaller in how, size. How do they pull that off? That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's all internal things that they can f- figure out how to do. That's cool. I mean, that's, the whole thing is trying to always find ways to uh, benefit from from doing that kind of stuff, right? Like, right, uh, right. For the consumer and all that sort of things. Anyways, like making less code sizes, like needing to use less amount of code and things like that. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm yeah. assuming. I don't really know a lot of the coding, but yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, so app up like app uh, updates are also faster. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, like that. That's the size. Like, but those are like the generic speed increases that 
we all hope for, right? And that happens in every update. And I like like it already it did affect if because I noticed it with the iOS 12 that it did get better and at and uh, more speedier on the older phones too. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, I haven't I haven't upgraded mine. Mm-hmm. Like, because I'm still worried that like my iPhone 6 won't be able to handle it. Right. So I'm just like not. I'm refraining from up. Right. Like I always mine. normally read about uh, other. Um, other reviews and when they do the updates and how well it has gone. Right. Okay. So true. That's how I kind of know. Yeah. Oh, so you updated yours? Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't yeah. updated mine. Yeah. Uh, and then the next thing that I thought was kind of cool that I saw, it's shared audio. So before I used to, like, if we're going on trips, I'd have to get like a audio splitter. Yeah. If we're gonna watch on the same thing. You, you know, Riza made something similar. He made headphones with like a secondary slot, so it's like if you want to listen to, you just plug it into the wire. Right. Yeah, but that seemed a little inefficient. Yeah. Now, because like, <laughs> yes, these wires. Yes. Now like, it's all wireless headphones. Now it's wireless time. headphones too, right? Right. So. That's I highly advocate for wireless headphones. They're so sick. Uh, after like cooking now, I do want those wireless headphones. Oh yeah, they're so ama- like. Oh, amazing. <laughs> I kind of want to buy Beats just because, like, it's branded. Okay. You know? I don't even know if they'll be good, but I don't really like the one that goes, like, over your head. Yeah, I think I, those are the ones they sell, right? Yeah, I know. I like well, they have ears. that, and they have the one that, like, wraps around your around the back of your neck. Yeah, I've seen people with those. I don't like those. The I don't, ones... But I don't like those, uh, but I can see, like, you, you don't lose those ones, right? Like, I guess those are, like, the, some of the, the people one... that fear... Loss, losing one of those things. So. Yeah, the the one I have is like these uh, eighty dollar ones on Amazon, and they're like amazing. They're like waterproof. Uh, they're like they hug your ear perfectly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hmm. and they're like they're those like sound ones. Like I don't know, like they have that rubber, so it's like all you can hear is that, which is actually kind of freaky because like you can't hear the outside world, and that that kind of scares me. Like I, you know, because mm-hmm. you get too absorbed. Right. Yeah. Anyways. I like the Apple ones. I haven't yet tried them, but I do want to get those. Uh, the Oh, the two AirPods. AirPods, yeah. yeah. I got my dad some. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I haven't even tried them. I oh. just, yeah. <laughs> I think it's like I just wouldn't buy it for myself. So I was like, meh. I heard they're really good, though. So mm, Okay. Uh, they're like, I remember like they had a lot of, like they were made fun of a lot, mm-hmm. but then they didn't realize, well, people didn't realize like the huge success that it ends up, ended up becoming. Really? Okay. Yeah. True. So that's so now with shared audio, you can just share it wirelessly with whatever you're listening to. So you know, which makes complete sense. Which makes if yeah, you have yeah. The, exactly. If you have the wireless, it's like why would you not be able to share it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now that you can't use splitters, right? Yeah, exactly, so, yeah, exactly. Use something like that. <laughs> uh, so I thought that was cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, a new keyboard in the sense of swipe. I think you can get these things like in apps already okay but now it's all default in it so like people don't have to download an app to well i don't understand what that is swiping keyboard like you just swipe over instead of like tapping on it each each note each uh, letter is that hard to you like i've never used one so it's like, exactly yeah i like haven't it be very but it's, it's it's been on android for a long time so interesting and people do seem to like it uh that's what I'm thinking too. Like, how difficult will it? Like, actually how does be? it not read two keys at the same time? You know what I mean? Like, as you're trying to get right. across. The yeah, it's so something like, to do with uh, the way uh, algorithmically, which which word you're trying to type in. Interesting. So, yeah. Okay, true. Yeah, that's that's fascinating. So, like this, so now it's default, so you can. I feel like you'd be faster with tap though. Because you have two uh, fingers. Wait till you see, see it. <laughs> no, 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 but like, like actually, just thinking about it, it's like you're gonna use right. one finger. As opposed to two fingers, how can you go faster? No, because a lot of how times you're in one. Faster? A lot of times you're holding the phone in one hand. But if I'm typing something, if I'm actually texting something, yeah. I use two two thumbs. Right. Yeah. Well, again, just check it out. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I think I think a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people are downloading that ex, that app. You know what I'm saying? So now it's all just default, right? Right. Right. Okay. True. So that's that's why. Uh, that's what makes it interesting, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Kind of sucks for the app developers, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then fo- well, photos. Okay. And a huge update on photos, which is um, there's some cool little things that, like, you know, you can zoom in and see the different highlights of different years or different uh-huh. days and different years of what has actually 
in your photo album. Okay. But that's not my, the thing that I thought I was interested in. I was more interested in the editing aspect and the fact that now, I believe it was only on the iPhone that you can edit videos Amazing. on and crop them. And uh, that's so essential for social media. <laughs> like, yeah. And no, rotate the them. Like so, like, I. Like sometimes you want to rotate these videos, right? Because mm-hmm. you filmed it in the wrong yeah. angle, and then, I had to get third-party apps for that. Yeah, so now it's all within the within the Photos app itself. Amazing. So I thought that was a pretty cool thing, and I like the warping aspect uh, with the zooming in, all happening instantaneously in just video video editing. That's thing. great! Wow. So that so I can actually essentially get that capability if I upgrade right now. Uh, yeah, well, iOS is not update uh, available yet oh, okay. for the public, but okay. it's coming in in the fall. Okay. This is now for the, like just the developers and the I beta. I feel like they wouldn't give it for iPhone 6s. I feel like that's too old. Like, I yeah, don't know. Uh, it depends. Did... I don't know. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, not me. Uh, of course, not all features will will go because the the phone might not be capable of doing yeah, it exactly. without ha- like having significant um, processing and stuff. Processing yeah, yeah. or battery usage and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Uh, but these will be there for sure in the, in the you know, like the phones that are on out right now and uh, newer phones, right? Mm-hmm. It'll run more smoothly on the newer phones. Okay, true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the one thing that I, is the biggest thing that I guess everyone was talking about was the dark mode. Okay, well, what's dark mode? Uh, so dark mode is just makes everything instead of like all white, it'll be black. Oh, okay. So right. it's like YouTube dark mode. Yeah, like YouTube dark oh, mode. Like okay. everyone is making dark mode now. But so why do they do that? Okay, so now I Straight learned... aesthetics? It is aesthetic, but there's another thing to it that I didn't realize. Okay. So because all the new phones uh, use OLED... Okay. So whenever it's black, the OLED doesn't use any energy to make black. Oh. So you save battery. Smart. So the smart, battery lasts smart, longer. Smart, smart, smart. That's cool. I yeah. Like that. So like even certain segments will just be black on the screen. Smart. So that means there's no energy used to make any kind of light. Smart. So that's like the thing that. with OLED. Yeah. That's cool. All right. True. <laughs> I like that. So more battery savage. I think a lot of people will be a lot of people will be switching to that. Mm-hmm. I think I would be if I'm going to get the new phone. Yeah. If if I get the battery saving, why not? You know. Exactly. Like that's yeah. Yeah. I think that's one of the biggest things, like just battery consumption. I think that's the huge. Uh, I really in general like consumption. Yeah, I really like the uh, wireless charging. Like that is friggin' amazing to me. <laughs> like the technology for yeah. it. Like yeah. uh, honestly, like, like I, I know we won't go over this in this podcast. Like we're gonna save it for a different one. But mm-hmm. like the genius of Steve Jobs was like, it's very like, like simplicity driven. You know, like wireless charging yeah. using the dark mode. It's like. The easier we can make it for customers, then the more that they have to create their own art. Yeah. You know, he's like, we sh- we aren't building coders, we're building artists. Yeah. yeah. He didn't yeah. say that directly, but it's like that is that's the, the implication. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, this is the takeaway of his like design. Right. You know, which makes sense because like he was highly like, um, he was highly into Zen, and Zen's all about like finding your bliss through art. Right. So it's like if you can provide these tools to people to create their own art. You know, and not have to worry. Yeah. Then, like, yeah, you have a better race of humans. Yeah. 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 All right. So, what else? So then, the, then the standard um, emoji ones and things like that. So. Okay. Yeah. And then, so I what you, I you think. You create your own emojis. Like, what was that? No. So already in the in the ones in the in the previous one, you can already create emojis mm-hmm. of your face. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the face thing, and uh, so. Now you can add specific, like other other things that you know, that I don't really like makeup and things like that. I don't know if oh, you okay. want to play around with that, kind of weird. Add, but add, okay. add, it's like uh, your avatar. Yeah, it is your avatar basically, uh, and then add like you know AirPods and things like that. Cool, <laughs> just for fun. But the other thing that I found was really cool. So whenever you open up a new app, right? Remember how they ask you to sign in with Facebook or sign in with Google account? One of those bars like this. Yeah. Sign in with. So Apple is making one of their own. So it'll you are anonymous every time. It'll make a new ID for you. Every oh, time. that's cool. So just make like a, yeah. So like one of these fake ones, like not a fake one, like just it'll, just so you can use that, but it'll be always different. Nice. Oh, wow. They're really about privacy, eh? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, so they figured out a way to, you know, find their next. 
You know what's weird? Niche like of, this is how you can I'm tell that they're like, like they're like good. Like the book I'm reading right now, the uh, the anonymous mm-hmm. book, and it's like black hat and white hat hackers. It's yeah. so like a black a black hat hacker has like a malicious intent. A white hat hacker is like somebody who works for a company mm-hmm. to keep things like safe. Mm-hmm. You know, and like with Apple, like they definitely have a bunch of white hat hackers because like even this privacy thing, that's like a VPN thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like they're they're creating their own like VPN storage or like right. system so that you don't have to think about it. Again, the end user, just focus on your art. Yeah. We're just we're gonna take a, care of all the troubles for you. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's almost like a good hotel, you know? It's like right. don't think about what you'll need in the hotel. We'll think about that. Mm-hmm. You just enjoy your stay. Yes. You know, and yeah. I like that business model. That's great. Oh yeah, yeah. I think they had to think of a way to differentiate themselves from other organizations. Yeah, I mean, like yeah. especially, especially Google, right? Oh, because sure, they're doing yeah. huge, like they're doing really well in the general sense. So they, I think they figured out a way to uh, kind of compete with them with this privacy mm. thing. And I like, I like the ecosystem of Apple. I know I've said that before, but it's just like, how can you, how can you like discredit or like not. Like, I don't understand people who say, like, oh, I don't like Apple. But mm-hmm. it's like, why don't you like Apple? I don't understand. Like, if you're just... But maybe it's because they don't like creating things or, like... I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe. Because, you know, like, it's like, why would you not focus on the most secure system so that all you have to worry about is just, like, what do you want to do on the system? Right. You know, like, with Windows and stuff or, like... Um, uh, what do you call those? So what's the other one? Androids. They're yeah. like so open source that it's like, yeah, you can easily get hacked because they're allowing for open source, mm-hmm. you know. But if you have a closed system, it's like, you know. Right. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Anyways. Yes. So after that, they had iPhone, oh, iPads and their new system with the iPad, the software, I mean. Like it's okay. the same iOS, but with the iPad, it runs a little differently. Okay. And you can now... Save files on USB. I don't know why. Oh, I on the there. iPad. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Wow, that's super important. Like yeah, that. especially now that the that the iPads are all USB C, uh-huh. so you can do all those kinds of tricks. Oh, that's good because yeah. like that was super annoying about the iPad. You have to like airdrop it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's what's great though, because if you're a part of the ecosystem, you can just airdrop. Yeah. But still, it's like yeah, USB exactly. You need to be important. part of the ecosystem. So, yeah. and now with that, also the iPad will be your second screen if you have a Mac. Nice. So I thought that was kind of cool. All iPads are just like... Well, the iPads with this, whoever gets this operating system, I believe. So like, but both operating systems have to work together. Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah. So I would have to essentially upload, update the OS on my current Mac and then also get the um, iPad with a similar OS. Uh, yes. Okay. Yep. Okay, cool. I would assume so. Okay, cool. And then they ended off with the only one with a product release, the Mac Pro. Nice. So I thought that was... Uh, A.K.A. the cheese grater. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, the, well, the other one was called the, the trash can, so... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what they're going for, yeah. Well, they're going for a simplicity. It really looks. does look like a cheese grater. Like, now, now that you said it, like, I can't think about it yeah, yeah, else, yeah. otherwise. Right, right, right. Yeah. But so, uh, it's what everything, it's what uh, basically what the professionals have been asking for. Mm. Yeah. The pros of the pros. The <laughs> pros every, of the pros. Because everything right. is a professional. Like everything, I'm Mac Pro, right? Or mm-hmm. iPad Pro. But is it really Is it really pro? pro? Yeah, 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 you're saying. Compared to this, which will cost uh, probably max out at 40000 if you want to max it all nice out. That's a nice car right there, yeah. Yeah, but that's... That's the thing with these computers, though. It's for normally for big companies, and normally you're paying for time, mm. right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. That I think, costs a lot of money. So. I think personally, like, if it was a car or this, like, I kind of feel like I'd prefer this than a car. Right. Because, like, I would use this but, obsessively. Right, right. So you don't have to, I mean, the thing is you don't have to upgrade all the way to the max, right? Right, right. Because it's modular. You can always... But how long will this last? Like, if I get this, how long will this last for me? That's my point. My point is it's modular. No, no, no. I'm, no, I know, I know. Oh. But I'm saying, like, how long before they release the next one? Oh, probably a long time. Because this is... They took a long time to release this one. Okay. Okay, so it's like you have at least a solid, like, 10 years. Yeah, the, the one okay. before the, the trash can one 
was look something similar to this, mm-hmm. but it was a long time ago. Like how long are we talking? Like mm, like a long time ago. Like uh, when Steve was still here, I think that's when it was released. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Long time. And then the trash can one, but that one wasn't that uh, helpful for a lot of people because of the they couldn't easily upgrade. Right. And so this is the one that came out now, and it's doing. And this is what people have been asking for. Yeah. Okay. I mean. I feel like this would be a great investment. Yeah, it uh, depends. That's exactly right. Whatever it is that you need to work on, yes. Yeah. Yeah, like you can max this thing out. Like the numbers or the specs, everyone was pretty uh, impressed by. Mm. But again, you're going to be looking at, you know, very expensive if you need to go that mm-hmm. level. Right, so. Yeah. 28 cores, don't know what that means, but uh, <laughs> if that's important to you, yeah. <laughs> that's the max it can go up to. And 1.5 terabytes of RAM. Well, we usually it's like what? Um, so like, like my... 500 MB of RAM? What is it? Uh, generally now everything is about 8 or 16 gigabytes, gigabytes, gigabytes of RAM. Gigabytes, okay. Yeah, <laughs> megabytes, that would be so bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, sorry, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, GB, yeah, yeah. 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 So this could go up to 1.5 terabytes, so because so like they have insanely 12, fast. 12 dim slots for that. Yeah, normally everything comes with about four dim slots, so they're they're giving you four. Hmm. Or they're giving you eight, sorry, or 12, 12 sorry. to get to 1.5. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. And how much is the storage on it? That's also like you can get different ones, right? Depends on what you want. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, do, but like, like, is it like my Drobo, how it's like upgradable storage and then it's like... Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's all modular. Ser- you can always... No, but I mean like redundant servers. Like um, how if one breaks, then it'll... I don't know about that. Oh, okay. Because we still don't know all the information. I should Google Until it like, gets uh, into people's hands, which will be this fall, is when we'll know hmm. more. I feel like I would need to Google like what alternative to a Drobo there is. Because like, there's no way Drobo... That's the only one I've seen personally, but like mm-hmm. I should, maybe if I do like a deep, deep dive, but like um, Drobo is is like a one company. It's like a Mac, you know, like right. they specialize in. Well, this is servers. specific. The way you're doing it was with hard drives, right? Not, yeah, yeah with uh, me. for me. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a bit different than like a server. Mm-hmm. Normally it's servers, right? That would be having that. Right. Yeah. So they, you can sell like this uh, Mac as well as as a server unit as well. Oh, wow. Okay, true. Yeah. They have a design for that, too. Yeah, that's cool. So, yeah. I mean, this would be their most expensive thing. So, at the at the place, which I liked was, um, you can just see they were using, they're showing off all the components by just using that new uh, AR thing that they have on their phones. Oh, nice. So, this is the, they they'll just have an empty frame on the table, mm-hmm. and you pull out the iPad, and then it'll show you the actual thing, and then you can... Basically, blow out all the little pieces, what needs in there, the fans, all that nice. kind of stuff. Nice. Oh, that's cool. I thought it was a cool way to do a presentation for it. Yeah, yeah that's like, that's super, um, super um, futuristic right yeah. there. And you can select, okay, what is this? Or these are the RAM or whatever. These are the mm-hmm. graphics things. So, yeah. And like saying it's going up to 18K. Oh, no, 18K. Like 8K, sorry, of like handling that kind of video with depending on the RAM that uh, video graphics card that you have, mm-hmm. right? So it can go up pretty, you know, that, like expensive. And then in that process, they've also sold a new monitor or there, as well, which is about $6,000. Yikes. So expensive. Yeah. And a thousand dollars or 5,000 and six, one more thousand if you want to stand. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. so if you were watching it uh, as I was watching it, like everyone is kind of like uh, weirded out by the fact like, oh, it, like they said, it's five thousand dollar for the monitor, but then it's a thousand dollar for a stand. <laughs> Maybe you would think the it's most weird. Amazing. Stand you would think ever. it's weird too, but the thing is, whenever they buy these types of monitors, they don't buy it with stands. Oh, okay. So it's like um, it's like um, because they would already have these kind of wall mounts in, yeah, in like music yeah, studios yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So you you generally just buying the monitor. So who would who would use this? Mac, aside from me, who just wants to use it for basic things that I can use. Of. No, these are only for in within the industry. No, um, but I'm sure I could order one. No, no, you can even order yeah, yeah, yeah. one, but you're going to be spending that much. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah you no, can totally. order one, of I'm course. I'm saying who's, who would use this? I'm saying industry. That's who would be using it. Okay. Like film, whoever makes movies. Oh, film, or, okay, true. Uh, music. Uh, 
So the artists in art, in, yes, yeah. it's all it's all see, for the artists. See, that's the that's the beautiful thing about Mac. Like it's really fostering the ecosystem for artists to just thrive. Yeah, and that's why I, I really like. That's what Macs. they want to really focus on. So. Yeah, just create. You know. Yeah. So right now, if you want to see how that Mac Pro looks on your desk, you can go to their website and use the AR app. You've got the new iPhone, and we can see how it looks on your desk. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's that's the gist of it. I gotta say, so oh, all in two and a half hours. I'm trying to cram it in as much as I can. Nice, yeah. I think um, I think it would be nice to see a world that's like more Mac related, like uh, more more following like the 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 business model and business principles of Mac. You know, Apple. Like, you mean? Oh, Apple. Yeah, sorry. sorry. <laughs> that's yeah, I was confused. Yeah, yeah. but mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. yeah, great. Great recap. If I had the money, I would definitely buy the um, the cheese grater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would, would Even the monitor a... too is like that on the on the back of it because it's uh, it gets pretty hot because of all the things that it has to mm-hmm. deal with. So it has its own dedicated fan as well. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So it's all about trying to. Is, is there one product here that you'd buy? One product? Yeah. I mean, there's Whatever. only one product they released. Or upgrade? Like, well, all right. Yeah, I guess. There's nothing, <laughs> nothing to buy. Is there something you would utilize? That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, of, yeah, yeah, of the things in, that were shown. I mean, in in software wise. Yeah, I don't know. In like, iPad wise, yeah. I mean, I I think if uh, like, would you get this? The dual iPad? screen thing, yeah. I think the dual screen thing is pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I do like yeah, that. So but like, I sometimes have, like, monitors already, so it's kind of like a. No, I get that, but the thing with this thing is, so you can it's like a, you can have the same. What's it called? Like duplicate. Okay. Like so, you can mark up on here with the Apple Pencil, like mm. it's a tab, like one of those yeah, yeah, yeah. drawing tablets, and it'll show up on your computer because it's the. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you can have like direct, uh, basically instead of buying it, you know, what is it? How many? How much are those kind of things? Ten thousand, five thousand dollar tablets. Um. Yeah. It d- depends on which one you buy. Yeah, I know. I know what I'm saying. Like to get buy a good one, right? Generally, like five hundred bucks. No, those are not. No, the ones with there's with screens on it. Oh, oh, I thought you were just talking about the. Um, no, the, because those ones are difficult to use because you're looking at the computer. Oh right? man, they are so difficult to use. Yeah, I've tried. That. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, I have. I've used that actually on the daily, and it's like it's so hard. Right. So that's what I'm saying. So this one would you do it on the iPad? Mm, okay. Yeah. True. So, um, what? How much is this iPad? Uh, like, like, it is, ranges, right? You no, know, I'm saying like, is there a specific iPad threshold that you shouldn't buy it for? Like, should you should like, would it be more advantageous to like find a used iPad and then get that one, or like go all in and buy a new iPad? Because I'm I'm actually personally looking for this myself, like getting an iPad with a pen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what what do you think? Uh, I mean, it depends on. Like, how do you much... think it's worth the the upgrade? Like getting an actual like a new iPad or like, yeah. Uh, it, you gotta look at how what your um like are like actual are the features suggest. worth the conversion? Like so so okay so like let's say it doesn't work I, for I, an iPhone 6s. Right. It's like okay, should I get a new phone because these features are so good or like what do you think? I think that depends on the the user, right? If if those are things that you are you've been looking for, then yeah. But if, if you, those things don't matter to you, then you don't need to upgrade. True. Yeah, I guess that's a very pragmatic approach. I was thinking <laughs> I was thinking more in terms of like, like with the bugginess, you know, like are these superfluous upgrades? You know what I mean? Like, like are they are they nice to haves, or are they like essentials that you think will carry out into the future? Uh. Like, are they gimmicks? I don't think they're gimmicks. No, I think I think the iPad is going through a huge change right now. Okay. With that new operating system, now it's See, there's the answer now, right there. Yeah. Like, so yeah. now, now so it's, should I get it? So now it's more. I feel like, like the ads that they always had were saying that iPad is like it's like a computer. Uh-huh. I think now it's reached to a point where it's more like a computer than ever before. Okay, so you don't even think you need Max anymore, if for uh, the, for like an av- like an average user. Um, yeah, yeah. I haven't even used mine, even though I've been... Your computer? 
Yeah, but like yeah, you... but mine is what, what? Well, that's what I'm saying. What I'm You're what like, I use it as is, computer, but what I use it as is generally what most pub, most people use it as. Which one? Like with the iPad. I think you don't need it. You don't need a computer anymore. True. Like this one's a standalone one for gaming, and you also like watch things on here. Yeah, that I just do on the, I could just do on the iPad too, right? Yeah. True. Okay. Okay. I all right. So. So it's like we're so seeing if a there migration. Is some, yeah, yeah. Now, now you, I think now is you can see the actual change in the iPad and becoming more and more and more like a computer, okay. like a laptop. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, like okay. a laptop. So uh, then, so switch. then it's almost like not even worth the upgrade to get like a new Mac. It's like just get the iPads. They're becoming as efficient and effective as a Mac, yeah. MacBook Pro. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like obviously not the same, but like you can. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like yeah. I need it because, like, it's in my industry. But, like, how Tara got a uh, MacBook Air. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah. could you get away with just an uh, iPad? Yeah. You know? hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You but, think you could run businesses on it? Uh, I mean, I, I need to know what everything that a business needs. And, yeah, I would assume so, yeah. Like, just, like, like Excel, yeah. Word. Yeah. We can run all that on there. Interesting. Can you get Photoshop on there? Yeah, they do have a Photoshop version yeah, there for, you go. for iPads. Yeah. Interesting. What a weird future we have in front of us. It's almost like it's almost like we're gonna have like a like a divvy, like a div- division between like regular consumers and producers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it almost seems like because I've noticed that too. Like, my parents only have iPads. Well, my dad is not MacBook Air because he's running a business, but my mom only has an iPad. Yeah. You know, and it's like, yeah, you don't really need computers anymore. No, if you're just checking email and surfing the web here and there, yeah, watching a couple of videos, you don't need a... So that, that's what I'm saying. It's like, we're going to see a division between like the layman who's going to start to use like iPads and tab, like yes. which are tablets. Yes. And then you're going to have like the producers which would use like actual computers now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting world. Yeah. Interesting world. Super yeah. interesting world. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's super interesting because, like, because I'm thinking about, like, with, you know, like, like, as a marketer, you would need the laptop. But, like, as a, like, let's say you're running, like, programs, like, camp programs or something, you would just need an iPad. You need something to, like, check in, record things. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. You don't need much for, like, the general public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even on, like, different tiers of business, like, if you're not creating designs, if you're just doing, like, a... Like, let's say you're, like, a yoga instructor. You just mm-hmm. need an iPad. Yeah. Record the names of your students. Check into the software. Right. But, like, do you really need, like, intense, like, laptops anymore? Not really. No. no. Yeah. Wow, the future. You know, it's interesting, like, in the Steve Jobs book, like, that's what he envisioned. Like, he wanted this kind of world of, like, simplicity and, like, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Very true. All right, so you're going to watch E3 today. Maybe we'll talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think we gotta talk about um, what was the other one? We should do like a Netflix review. Remember we did those before? We did like the Osho one. We should do one for OA. Okay, sure. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, you're almost done it. Yeah, almost done. Then we could do Black Mirror too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So stick around for more tech stuff. Mm-hmm. The nerd ish continues. It's the nerd month. Uh, yeah. Nerd month. All right. Till next time. Yes. Same bad chant. Same bad time. Same bad channel. Take it easy. Bye. Peace.